Hey makers, this is Dravin and I welcome you all to Power Platform Deployment Pipeline step by step tutorial series. This is the tutorial series which will explain you how you can deploy your Power Platform solution from your development to production using Azure DevOps Pipeline. This is the automated deployment. In many of my previous video, we have learned the technique of manual way of importing and exporting a solution from one environment to another environment. But now let's automate that process with proper Azure DevOps. So without further delay, let's get started. But before that, let me just give you the overall idea about this entire series. I have divided this entire series into four different part. In the first episode, we will be talking about how we can get started. What are the prerequisites in order to get started with the DevOps deployment? We will talk about the different type of app registration concept at the source side as well as destination side. Also, in the second episode, we will be talking about how we can set up the Azure DevOps project and create the connection inside that. In the third episode, we will be talking about how we can set up the Power Platform deployment pipeline. And in the fourth and the last episode, we will be talking about how we can set up the release pipeline and we will perform end to end migration from one Power Platform environment to another Power Platform environment. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about this thing in detail. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, please do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. Now, first of all, let me talk about what are the prerequisites that you need to consider in your mind while you are setting up the Azure DevOps. So first of all, these are the accesses you need from your admins. First of all, you need the Azure administrator access to register the application and grant the permission. This is something which we will need it in the first episode itself. Second, you need Power Platform administrator access. Also, you need Azure DevOps project administrator role as well, because in Azure DevOps, you have created a project, but to set up the pipeline and to set up the release pipeline, you need this role. Also, minimum Power Apps premium license is required in order to perform this whole operation. Also, at the Azure DevOps side, you require DevOps license as well. But these are the minimum access that you need to consider in your mind before you start this end to end deployment process. Now let me talk about one real life use case. So here you can see that I have one environment called ALM Dev and in ALM Dev I have one solution called Power Platform Apps. Now here I want to move this solution from my ALM dev environment to my ALM prod environment over here. So in ALM prod, I have not created any of the solution. It's a blank environment. And here I want to move my solution. So we will check this process end to end using Azure DevOps. So first of all, let's open up the Azure portal and to open the Azure portal, write in your URL portal.azure.com. From here, just click on Azure Active Directory. From the left navigation, you simply need to click on Enterprise Application and this will open this kind of interface. Click on New Application. Click on Create Your Own Application and provide the name of your application. Here I am providing the name of the application as YT Power Platform Source. Select the, this option by default and simply click on Create. The application has been created successfully. Now copy the name of this application from here. And now let's go to Azure Active Directory again. So I'm just clicking on Azure Active Directory and now click on App Registration. Simply click on All Application from here and search for the same application you just copied. So this is the one we just created. Click on that again. So that will open up this kind of interface for you. Now go to the API permissions over here and click on add permissions. Over here, you need to provide two permissions. First, select Azure DevOps and select the user underscore in per session. Click on add and that will add user underscore impersonation. Add another permission and this time select Power Apps Runtime Service and select user underscore impersonation 
and click on add permission. So you have added two different permissions over here. Once you do that activity, click on grant admin consent over here. So let's click on that and simply click on yes. If you have Azure administrator access, only at that time you will be able to do this activity. Now, once you do this activity, you simply need to go to the certificate and secret section. And here you need to generate a new client secret for yourself. Let's click on new client secret and over here I'm just providing the name of my secret. So I just provided the secret description as power platform source secret and over here you can set up the expiry time based on your requirement. Here I'm selecting six month and simply click on add. So that will generate this kind of secret ID and secret value over here. Simply copy both the value and paste it in your notepad. So here I just copied this value and pasted in one of my word file and same way let's copy the secret id as well and copy it over here as well. Now let's go to the overview section over here and let's copy couple of information from here. You need to copy the client id as well over here which is your app id. Let's copy and paste it in the notepad. Same way, you need the tenant ID as well. Let's copy this and paste it. Let me copy the name of the app as well. So this is all the required information that we need in our next episode. Let me keep this as is. Now let's go to our source environment. So this is the application we are registering for our source environment. So over here, let me open up my solution. And let me open up my ALM underscore dev environment. Let me go here and click on the admin center. And open your dev environment. Now here we need to add our Azure application inside our dev environment. Simply you need to click on user section and click on see all. Over here you can see an option app user list. Click on that. Over here, you need to simply click on new app user and click on add an app. Once you click on that, you will be able to see the exact same name that you just created. So we created a name called YT Power Platform Source. So this is the Azure application we registered. Simply select that and click on add button over here. Once you do this activity, it asks you to select the business unit. Over here, I'm simply selecting my default business unit. From here, you need to assign the security role. Over here, I'm just assigning a role as system administrator. Here, we need to grant system administrator privileges, which is the highest privileges at the environment level. Simply click on save and now click on create. So that will add your app user with the highest level of system administrator role at the environment level. I'm just clicking on create and that will add that particular user inside this environment. Now we have registered our source application and we added our application at the dev environment as well. So the first step is completed. Now let me talk about one more interesting scenario over here. So here my ALM dev and ALM pro both are in the same environment. So I need to register my Azure application in the same tenant. But let's say if your source and target environment or source and target tenant are different, then at that time you need to open your target tenant and register the application at the Azure level to that specific tenant. Okay. But the process is exact same. Over here, my ALM dev and ALM prod both are in the same tenancy. Okay, so I'm registering both of my application in the same Azure portal. Otherwise, you need to refer appropriate Azure portal for that specific tenant. Okay, now here what I'm doing here is again going to my Azure portal. Click on home button and again, let's go to Azure Active Directory and register the another application for our target. Okay, so simply click on new application and click on create your own application. Over here, I'm just providing a name. 
Here I'm providing a name as YT Power Platform Destination and click on create. These are the exact same step that we are following again. So the application has been registered successfully. Click on copy to clipboard and now again go to the Azure Active Directory and again go to the app registration section. Select all application and search for the thing that you just created. Click on here and here we will provide the API permission again at the destination level. If you are doing that in another tenant, do the exact same thing in that tenant. Click on add permission and select Azure DevOps from here. Select the user underscore impersonation and click on add permission. Click on add permission again and let's select Power Apps Runtime Services and select this permission and click on add permission. Click on grant admin consent and click on yes over here so that will grant the permission over here then you need to generate the client secret so again i am going to certificate and secret section and clicking on new client secret over here you can provide any name over here so i just provided the name as yt power platform destination six month expiry that's fine click on add and perfect now let's copy this secret id from here so I'm just copying this and opening my notepad here. I will take a note. So first of all, let me just add my secret key over here. Perfect. Then I need secret ID as well. So I'm just copying and pasting this secret ID from here. Simply click on copy to clipboard. Again, we need to go to the overview section and let's copy the other information. I am copying the client ID. Same way we need tenant ID as well. If your source and destinations are different then tenant ID would be different. Here in my case this is exact same. And let's copy the app name as well. And let's copy and paste this name. Now as a next step you need to go again to your power platform admin center and this time you need to open your target environment so my target environment is alm underscore prod okay so let me go to my power platform admin center with environment section let me select alm dash prod and simply you need to click on user section click on app user list and here you need to add the application that you just registered Click on new app user and click on add here. Over here, I'm just selecting this option from here. This is the app that we just created. Okay, YT Power Platform Destination. Click on add and let's assign the business unit and security as highest level of system administrator privileges. And simply click on save. Click on create and that will create this application user inside the production environment okay so our base is ready we have successfully created our azure application registration we provided two permission we added that user at the environment level so the first half is completed now in our next episode we will set up our azure devops project so stay tuned till the next session hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and follow me on all my social media handle looking for any paid consultation this is the website link so see you in the next session